Does she? <laughs> In today's video, I'm going to be reacting to some of Johnny Depp's best moments on the witness stand so far. Let's jump right into it. You were drinking pretty heavily. Were you there? <laughs> you know, Johnny Depp actually has a pretty good intuition on the rules of evidence. That comment was almost certainly speculation. But it's his lawyer's job to make that objection. And just because you can make an objection doesn't necessarily mean you should make an objection. Write that down, write that down! <laughs> So Mr. Depp, uh, with, with the, respect, um, trying to respect the court's time and the jury's time, that was not my question. My question was I simply, when you, you would agree, you, to look for you would agree, you would agree. Oh, I just love how they have a time lapse of this lawyer wasting time looking for a document. Credibility is everything in court. And what juries hate is hypocrites. So when this lawyer is getting testy with Johnny Depp saying, hey, that's not what I asked. You're wasting our time. Yet they waste the court's time. The jury's not gonna like that. And I know that might seem like a small microaggression in the context of this or normal everyday life, but let me give y'all a little secret. Trials are boring as shit. And when something is so boring, juries are going to nitpick everything. Never say to the jury, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, this is going to be a really quick line of questioning or hold on, I just have one more thing to ask because it's never just one more thing. And when you don't deliver on your promise of time, they're going to sit there in their jury box, just stewing with anger for how long this is taking. You could be giving the most articulate argument ever or presenting the most damning evidence possible, but all they're gonna be thinking of is, he said that there was only one more question and here we are 45 minutes later. Okay, I'm going down a trial rabbit hole here. The point is, don't claim somebody's wasting the court's time when you are also wasting the court's time. Let's pull up Exhibit 500, please. 500? 500. Defense Exhibit 500. Defense Exhibit 500. Yes, yeah, so I'd like to see who I lied to. Someone's <laughs> Did, did Johnny just say, let's see who I lied to? Let's see who I lied to. <laughs> I can speak from personal experience that oftentimes clients are scared when there's evidence that doesn't necessarily paint them in the best light. And it's a lawyer's job to calm them down and tell them, look, members of the jury are just going to be normal people. They get it. They can see the totality of everything. Everybody's done something that they're not necessarily proud of. Shoot. Sometimes people have even done things that they're not proud of habitually, but that doesn't necessarily make you a bad person. And that might not necessarily be the issue in any one particular case. And juries can see past that. And just like credibility is really important for the lawyers, it is equally important for the parties and witnesses as well. And if you made a mistake, you just need to own your mistake and let the jury sort it out from there. Sometimes drink whiskey in the mornings too, right? Isn't happy hour anytime? <laughs> Okay, by this point, if I was Johnny's lawyer, I would probably tell him to stop making so many little jabs. Just answer the question yes or no, because you put less emphasis on it. Instead, when you make a little jab or a joke like that, it opens the door to expand on his 9 a.m. drinking. Read that right. You did. Did I read that correctly? You did. Okay. Did I read that right? Yes, you did. Did I read that right? You continue to read them right, yes. And that kind of questioning, did I read that right? Did I read that right? Did I read that right? It's rhetorical. That lawyer knows he read the sentences right. All he's doing is reading out loud. And again, I get it as a lawyer, it's your job to emphasize the good evidence. And if these text messages are really that bad for Johnny, you kind of confirm this notion like, hey, you tell me if anything's wrong about this. I'm waiting. I mean, these text messages are pretty bad. I'm going to keep reading them until you tell me to stop. But you have to do that carefully because if you push too hard, you just look like an ass. And Johnny Depp picks up on that and is kind of trying to turn that against the lawyer. That you are right after. I, I won't give you anything to argue with me yet. Right <laughs> after you sustain an yes. injury to your finger. Sorry. That you. <laughs> it is so much easier to be a backseat driver here. I would suggest that you should probably never say a comment like that to a witness you're cross examining because. If it is an issue that you have to argue over, you lose that credibility. 
Additionally, uh, I would also tell the witness being cross-examined to not make little jabs like that because you could lose some respect from the jury if it really is just an objective yes or no question or statement that there is nothing to argue about over. But when you're on the stand for days and days and days at a time, they've been going for weeks at this point, these little interactions are just going to happen. It's natural again it goes with the jury being normal people they can see through this they can see through the frustration on both sides and cut both sides a little bit of slack but is it funny yeah it's funny right after you sustain an injury to your finger bless you <laughs> i've never seen that bless you. I can promise you that the jury is going to remember that more than 99.9% .9 of the evidence. <laughs> you poured yourself a, um, a mega pint of red wine, correct? A mega pint. Welcome to the Caribbean, lad. Again, this might be a cause for speculation, but when you're cross-examining someone, you can lead the witness and you can make inferences that doesn't necessarily mean Johnny Depp's team can't object. It's just a matter of whether they should object. Good lawyers will strategically choose not to object to every little thing that might be objectionable. I'll move to strike this as hearsay. Who work on the island. Hearsay. Disturbing. Hearsay. With Ms. Heard. Hearsay. We're going to fast forward in time a little bit, Mr. Depp. Um, yes, I can feel it. I... <laughs> what does that even mean? Also, I have other uses for your throat, which do not include injury. I have other uses for your throat, which do not include injury. Sorry, could you read that again? <laughs> I listened to a seminar one time given by one of the best trial lawyers to have ever existed. And the thesis of the seminar was being too emotional, emphasizing things too much is actually insulting to the jury. Again, the jury, they're normal people. They can understand things. And when you try to ram a point down their throat, no pun intended. Sorry, could you read that again? They're going to reject it. You have to let them come to that conclusion. It's kind of like when you're really strict with a kid and you say, don't do this, don't do that, don't do this, don't do that, don't do this. What do they do? They do what you tell them not to do. And that's a fine line the lawyers have to walk because you do want to emphasize your evidence, but you want to do it in a way that's respectful and that's going to get the point across. If you've been watching this trial, I want to know whose team you are on in the comments. Johnny Depp or Amber Heard, let me know. All right, y'all, that's it for today's video. Bye.